Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the garden today. I took my little begonia outside on the lanai because I want to show you that we got a little seed pod that pollinated on her. My begonia we transplanted a few weeks ago now into this ceramic pot. This was about, I'd say $10 in Lowe's and I love it. It has a little tray on the bottom and it's glazed. And we have a little flower, so when we transplanted this, she's got a lot of growth, a lot of new growth on here. And that's why we had to upgrade her in a pot, because she was just growing out of her pot here. And it was drying out a little too fast. Begonias like to stay really moist, so I go ahead and water and then let that soil dry out completely all the way almost to the bottom. I want to leave probably about that much when I water. I always leave about that much that's moist at the bottom and then I go ahead and water again. If this dries out completely, what will tend to happen is her foliage will end up wilting. And you can feel her foliage, how perky it is when she is watered and healthy compared to when she needs water. So if you're not sure, just wait until she wilts and then you'll, you'll end up getting a little schedule over time on how much to water her. Just try not to let them wilt more than like a few hours because they really need that water. They need consistent waterings to stay healthy. These are kind of like, um, they remind me of succulents because their leaves are so full of water it feels, but they're not a succulent. This is a begonia rex and you can see how variegated this foliage is. You can see on the front, it's like bluish with red in there and then the leaves get more defined red with sparkles on them as they get more mature. And then they have a black dot on the base of the leaf and then on the bottom you can see the flip side of them is so pretty and we had a little flower that popped out you can see now mostly my flowers just look like this head in the front it's just this pink part with the yellow i never got a little pot on it like this but you can see we have a little seed pod now look at that seed pod it's so pretty and cute so that means that we this flower pollinated, and these are pretty much self-pollinating. They have both male and female parts in the flowers. So it's basically self-pollinating, and it'll push out this little seed pod once it pollinates. And it probably pollinated when I was moving this plant around, transplanting it into this container, because I didn't even realize we had a flower on it until yesterday. And what I'm going to do, I did some research, is I'm going to leave it on here until it dries out just a little bit. You can see it's really still nice and healthy. So we're gonna enjoy it a little bit. I love the way that little seed pod looks with the red and the yellow and the green on there with the pink flower. It's so cute, these begonia seeds. So we're just gonna wait till it dries out a little bit and then we're gonna cut it off all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna cut the whole pot off. And then before it dries up completely, you wanna cut that because then the pods, I heard, can open. This pod can dry and open, and these seeds are so tiny and microscopic that we're gonna have to break them open over a piece of paper. And we're gonna come back and show you guys that. Once I cut this off in the next few days, I'm gonna show you all that. We're gonna we're gonna come back and show you how we cut this. I just wanted to give you a little update on my begonia and show you how she's been doing. We've been feeding her once every two weeks with my Dynagirl Grow System. We got some neem oil in her soil to protect against fungus and pests any kind of spider mites or aphids lurking around in the soil, that neem oil is gonna take care of it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and just learn to pollinate some plants of your own. Even though they're self-pollinating, you can definitely take a little paintbrush and try to pollinate the middle of that flower once it opens. You can take a little paintbrush and tickle the center of it and hopefully you'll get a little seed pod like this. We didn't do this purposely. Like I said, it happened when we transplanted her. We transplanted this plant and then I just found the seed pod on there yesterday. So we're so lucky to have that. I can't wait to grow more of these begonias. They're really easy and fun to grow. They require just medium light. She stays in my eastern facing window inside and she gets about six hours of sun a day. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Comment below. I'm always here for you, and I love what I do. I'll see you guys next time out in the garden. Bye-bye.